Alberta's power companies wanted to drive home the danger of working near overhead power lines. Last year, five Albertans died after coming in contact with power lines. And province-wide, there were more than 800 incidents involving power lines. Today is Power Line Safety Day across the province. Every day, people risk their lives needlessly. Be aware about power lines. You need to be safe and plan your work, especially if you're in the oil and gas or construction or agricultural industries. You need to be, be safe and plan ahead so you know where power lines are. Always ask yourself where's the line so that you can do your work and come home safe at the end of the day. And for more information, you can check out wheresthelineca Many Calgary homes now have their black bins, and there's talk that green bins will be next. In our poll question yesterday, we asked what you thought about adding a green bin for organic materials. Here are some of your comments. Betty asks, why would we get another bin from the city and have an added charge to our city bill? Isn't this why we bought compost bins from the city in the first place? Juanita says the bins are a great way to do things. However, there should be two sizes available for the homeowner to choose from. There are many homes that won't fill the cumbersome units. And Rob suggests why not offer it on a volunteer basis, maybe add a tax incentive or rebate from the city. The city will benefit from the extra compost, and those with no room for another bin are happy. Over 2,600 people took our online poll. 70% said... We already have enough bins. The Amber Alert system is used across Canada to help find missing kids. Now, Ontario is about to become the first province to use a similar system to find missing seniors. Ontario Premier Dalton McGuinty unveiled the system called Silver Advisory at a senior's home in Toronto. It will be used primarily for people who may suffer from Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. McGuinty says it's a simple and cost-efficient way to help families and seniors deal with what can be a traumatic event. The province will create a community-based alert system similar to the ones already in place in 12 American states. The B.C. government is cutting its harmonized sales tax in hopes of making it more palatable to voters. The province will cut the HST by two percentage points in a bid to win a mail-in referendum on the tax. If voters opt to keep the HST, it will drop to 10 percent by July 1st of 2014. The cuts will come from the provincial half of the harmonized tax. The federal finance minister will deliver his new budget on Monday, June 6th. Jim Flaherty says it will be very similar to the last budget he presented just before the opposition parties brought down the government and the